and welcome back to our Let's Play of SimCity. And I know it's been a little while since we've done this Let's Play, but that time that we've taken off seems to have paid off because now our region is virtually populated, it's almost full, and we've got a ton of great cities to look over. So we've actually kind of got the, we're, we're getting close to what is supposed to be the potential of this game to have all these different cities you can interact with and so on and so forth. One thing I will say though, and, and I don't know if this will make a, a huge difference, but it'll make a subtle difference and it will be a change for the better, one practical step at a time. But I've uh, switched my microphone stand. I've switched it from what uh, came with a microphone, which was like a tiny little tripod that I set on my desk, to now I've actually got like a real uh, microphone stand, and uh, if I've set it up off the uh, side of the computer and hooked it on, and now it's uh, pretty much put the microphone right in front of my face. So one, that's going to make uh, it easier to speak into the microphone and for, for that to be very clear, but also that's going to limit background noise. So the key presses will be less predominant and you could also kind of hear my mouse uh, swooshing back and forth because uh, because uh, the microphone used to be on the desk now it's like suspended right in front of my face so that's going to make a, a better uh, you know it's going to make the video sound better it's not going to be like a huge massive change but it'll be it'll be a good change nonetheless anyway let's uh, head to some of these cities i think five plus five equals common sense is uh is a new city in fact, I think the uh, the only two cities, uh, we, we beforehand we only had two cities, now we've got like 12 to go and visit and go and talk about. So that should be fun. And then actually see when we get back to uh, Stalingrad, if that makes a change in the way we play the game, having all these interconnected cities with us. To be able to kind of have uh, that invisible dialogue, if you will. Oh, I almost thought... It, had, uh, it loaded. One thing was, I was reading those global stats, and it was really cool uh, that they said the population was something like 7 billion people, or global population was 7 billion people. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much like the, the population of the entire world. So here we go, 5 plus 5 equals common sense. It kind of looks like a slum town a little bit. I just like, like all these like poor... Uh, Apartment buildings, all these poor tenants smashed together. Reminds me a little bit of Tropico. Uh, abandoned mining buildings. So about uh, 40,000 people live here. And, uh, well, they're doing pretty good financially, though. They got a decent surplus. Go away. Well, at least he's put the garbage dump in a good place. You know, kind of off to the side, off of, you know, where everybody is. Like this, like, nice, like, resident, this, this commercial placement right here. Anyway, so, uh, 5 plus 5 equals common sense. It's kind of a strange city name. Hey, I'm a 5 plus 5 equals common sense-er. Is that the, like the way you describe yourself when you're from the city? Sometimes those get, get weird. Alright, what's our next city on the list? This one guy, whoever he is. Primorsky. Oh no, sorry, no. Um, Von Gola Exith has taken three cities. So I gotta go talk to him and ask him to not take so many cities so other people can move in um these are the two we've had before i guess we'll we'll go back and visit them later this is turk and the mayor is uh Kaze, Kazier turk well i guess that makes sense all right well ah to the city we've got about 80,000 people that live here in a huge financial deficit Losing 10,000 bucks an hour. But he's got 700,000 simoleons in the bank. So that's okay. I like the roads here. The roads are definitely cool. 
the uh, actual curved roads are nice. And he's got streetcars. Everybody loves streetcars. So people in my uh, city keep telling me. He doesn't just have a coal mine. He's got an advanced coal mine. He's got several of them, actually. Maybe that's how he makes his money, as he sells the coal. That's how he sustains his dirty, filthy city. Is through the sales of coal. Alright, well, onwards to the next one. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That makes sense. Okay, onward to uh, Young Band Hills by Klexen R. Kek Kekshen? I don't know. I'll just, I'll just call people whatever I want to. I'll just make up names as I go along. Alright, so we've got a small city here. It looks like it's in the making of uh, just about 4,000 people. Like how they've got this like great highway that comes into the city. And then I actually think this is a very cool pattern. The circular thing that he's got going on here. I think that's very, very cool. I like this. This is like a really epic bridge. But I like that it's made out of these like dirt back roads. I don't think he's even got any... Uh, He's got industry over here. Does he even have any commercial at all? Oh, yes he does. So this is the commercial circle, it looks like. And here's the residential circle. I kind of like how, I mean, if this kind of trend... Oh, he's got commercial and residential mixed together. But if this kind of trend continues, like, the, the interior will be, like, the really rich part of town. And then it'll, like... Go uh, the then they'll like uh you know go out and get progressively poorer and less dense till you get to like the back roads over here. God, there's not even any traffic here. It's like North Korea. All right, next city. Man, now this is taking a lot. Now there's a lot of cities to visit. Accidental claim. Uh, all right, now we've got Chernobyl. Oh, I remember I've, I visited this city before. If it's still like what it was when I first visited it, it'll be awesome. All right, and it is. So it looks like Chernobyl had a nuclear meltdown because everywhere, like around the nuclear power plant, has been completely decimated. So it's a completely barren all around the nuclear power plant. So I don't know if that's like by design or if like le legitimately there's some kind of nuclear disaster in the game and it like like destroyed the buildings around here. Radiation level extreme. Yeah, looks like people in Chernobyl are not educated very well. Or maybe that explains why there was a nuclear meltdown. Alright, next city. I don't think we should visit Accidental Claim. Let's go to Siberia. Wow, this is definitely a uh, advanced city right here. You got 12 million dollars in the bank, plus 
a population of nearly 300,000. Oh, this city right here may as well be the crown thus far is pretty much the crown jewel of the Soviet Union. What is that? An expo center? It's powered by a rather scary and imposing looking nuclear power plant like Chernobyl. Let's just hope, uh, just, uh, he's got the Eiffel Tower. He's got the freaking Eiffel Tower. Are these taxis? Yeah, they are. Double-decker bus terminal. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. That guy's got a railway station that, like, goes nowhere. Oh, look okay, at never mind. It trades. That makes sense. Just uh, breathing in this city right now. These poor, these poor guys who live beside the nuclear power plant. Wow. All right. Well, let's see if any city can top that. Kozlov by Darkly Ninth. I like how this is like so completely not correct because it says only 150,000 people live here. We just went to one city that had double that amount. Right, so now we've got a nice little village here. Well, this definitely looks, looks very, very comforting kind of the place you'd want to retire to with all the nice forests and it's wind powered and the small houses well and there's a gambling house I like this little bridge. This is actually kind of cool. It sounded like he was speaking Russian for a second. He's got two gambling houses. Wow. People, peop, apparently people in Kozlov really love to gamble. Alright. Soon, we are running out of cities. Next is, well, St. Petersburg by Emperor Manstein. Okay. Wow. This might, this might be, that it's... It's a competition, because this is, I think this is the most populated city in the Soviet Union this far. With, uh, with over 300,000 people. But I don't know, it lacks the majest uh, the majesty of the other city we, we looked at, although I can't remember what that was called. But, they do have a municipal airport, which is pretty cool. 
right along the cliff side. Leaving this town full of death. Wow. Well, apparently people in St. Petersburg are dying due to some sort of siege or starvation or something. Alright. I think we've only got a handful of more cities left to uh, discover here. Okay. Crisis Water res Reservoir? An accidental claim. I think we're going to go to Primorsky. Which seems to be the only legitimate of the three territories that this guy has claimed. Alright, and we've come to another, you know, decent sized city. Though there's only 80,000 people living here. It looks like there should, it looks like there's a lot, or, well there should be a lot more with all the skyscrapers and everything. in the advanced industry. I should make a... university. Destroy a crappy community college. Us an amphitheater. All right, well. I guess we'll finish off by looking at the two oldest cities besides uh, my founding city. All right, zooming in here, it looks uh, it looks pretty much the same since we last convened. Yeah, not a lot of whole a whole lot to say on this front. So let's head to Minersburg, and then back to our home base. I thought this was Miner or Minertropolis. That was Minersburg at first. Can you read AM cities? I'm not sure. Nope. Again. Well, maybe there's been a little bit of a change. Notice he's definitely got more money. And I think it's more skyscrapers. Yeah, and almost 100,000 people live here. So yeah, this this uh, city has undergone some improvement, that's for sure. Alright, well, with that though. Let's head to our city and, and do a little bit of upgrading and see. Oh, I'm... I'm Declaring my city the capital of the region. I don't think anyone is going to uh, object to that. Well, someone probably will. There's always, I'm pretty sure there's like one douchebag. And there's always one guy who like dislikes all my videos. Because usually, you know, videos will have a hundred likes. And then one guy, there'll always be the one dislike. the one, And then sometimes he's got a buddy that he recruits and it'll have two dislikes. But it's just like, I don't, I like it's very rare that I'll have a video that has zero dislikes. There'll always be just like the one guy. I'll just come in and mess it all up. Alright, back home again, home again. Water crisis reservoir. Are these the cities that I'm connected to? Like, I don't know if uh, cities on this side of the river connect to the cities on the other side. Shoppers come to my place.
Yeah, I'm not sure if we can connect to, uh, if uh, some of our cities are connected to one another. But yeah, I have not uh, not played really since the last time we convened and the last time we talked. If there's anything that needs to be destroyed. No, nope, we're doing good on that front. H how do we get? Let's build another gambling house if we can. Oh, sweet! Let's build it right beside the power plant. Well, first off, nice rooms. Hey, how about that? Nope, doesn't look like I can build anything more. There we go. Now we can steal people's money. Happy, happy times. Are you telling me that pe that that buses have gotten have gotten stacked up again somewhere? Because this, you know, this one has ten school buses. What happened to that? Get schools? We have schools. We have a ton of schools. You can go to high school if you want, or you can go to elementary school. You can even go to community college. So stop your whining. God damn it, guys. I like these really fancy looking uh, commercial buildings. Prophetess Inc. <laughs> So like, here come all the buses, and then they all leave. So it's okay. Sickness. Oh, man. So I had the opportunity yesterday to watch the latest, uh, or the remake of the Evil Dead movie. And honestly, I was quite happy with it. Because the first two Evil Deads are, honestly, some of my favorite movies of all time. They just kind of amplify everything that I, I really <laughs> look at these fucking trains <laughs> I should I should really get rid of this crap there is, all the trains were exploded but uh, you know I, I post on my Facebook page that I really liked the new Evil Dead movie and people were giving me flack for it and like oh man it was terrible and blah 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 and I'm like I don't know what you expected from like a horror remake like, this isn't like a there will be blood, you know, magnum opus or cinematic titan here. I mean, it's a it's it's a horror movie. You come into it expecting to watch lots of people die in horrific ways. And that's exactly what the Evil Dead remake was. And that's exactly uh, why I had so much fun with it. Have you come to, like, a horror movie expecting to have this, like, great and amazing, like, cinematic experience that's going to change your life? Uh, you seriously need to, like, uh, rethink some of your philosophical choices. Well, slowly more people are going to come in, uh, into this area.
But no, it's just at a point you're just like, because uh, the movie you had had just about all, had a ton of great and cool kills, and at some point you're just waiting to see how what the movie is gonna do next and how it's gonna, you know, make a better, uh, you know, top the last kill that it had. And uh, that's what made it, to me, so much fun. And it was also kind of, it also set itself apart from the original Evil Dead. Because, uh, okay, that's cool. Because it actually, I mean, it, it tried to be more serious, or have the characters at least take it seriously. Whereas the first two were kind of like uh, horror comedies, almost. So to me, that's how it really, I mean, it set itself apart from, uh, from the original. So I was happy with it, and I recommend it to anyone who just wants a fun, like, uh, horror movie and wants to watch lots of, lots of blood, lots of people get killed in, uh, horrific manners. You definitely can't go, can't go wrong with the Evil Dead remake. So I wanted to see something, now that I have the ability to, because I have plenty of money. Oh, someone is already constructing a, uh... Oh. I was, uh... Gonna construct a great work last time, but someone's already beaten me to it. Well, I can send plastic and alloy to the building of our solar farm. But uh, I unfortunately cannot give processors. And I don't really know how to do that. And I've also uh, been playing a crap ton of, uh, well, both uh, the Starcraft, Starcraft and the Company of Heroes 2 beta and I, I, I'm under the, the Company of Heroes 2 beta is under an NDA which means a non-disclosure agreement so I can't show any footage and I can't show any um, any images or I think I'm liable to basically be sued but I can say that it's good that it's really good and if you had any doubt in the future of Company of Heroes, uh, fear not, because uh, I mean, Company of Heroes 2, at least already, I can already tell pretty comfortably uh, from the beta, well, the beta is already good, and hopefully uh, it's only going to improve from there. The one thing that, that strikes me about it is, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't want to get into any kind of trouble because there's potential for me to be sued. If I talk too much about it, I mean, I don't want to, uh, you know, one, have my access taken away, or two, face potential legal action. But I think, I think I can talk about it. I'm pretty sure I can, just so long as I don't show any footage. But I'll, I'll say that it's, it's pretty much the same game. Uh, like, it's very similar to Company Heroes 1. You know how from Dawn of War 1 to Dawn of War 2, there was a pretty big, uh, you know, difference in how the game played. When you play a Dawn of War 1 and Dawn of War 2, it's a very different gameplay experience. Uh, not so much from Company of Heroes uh, 1 to 2. It's very, very similar. So, uh, take that as you will. But, uh, yeah. Definitely kind of under if it's, if it's, if it's not broken, uh, don't fix it type of uh, feeling. But there are t some things that I thought are just, even with that, there's some things I thought were just too similar, too samey. But again, it's the beta, so it's all under construction at this point. But fear not, as soon as I'm able to show some sort of footage for Company of Heroes 2, I will definitely be showing some footage of Company of Heroes 2. But I've been playing a crap ton of StarCraft Online, 
because I'm starting a new feature, which is uh, I'm calling it the uh, StarCraft II, the road to badassery, in which I essentially turn myself from an average player in the game to someone who is a, who is, a, you know, a master or an expert at the game. Because, you know, I, I know a lot about how the game works and, how, and uh, you know, the mechanics of the game, but actually getting in there and playing it one-on-one -on -one is an entirely different set of or can of worms where's mansion upgrade available oh I'm at 80% approval rating okay do I've, I've only got one of these I got a balcony, which is very El Presidente-esque. A guest house. A guard boast. A yeah, sports car garage. I like the sound of a balcony. Oh, I don't want 